This is Tita One Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, we're ready to analyze some of the stories in the entertainment world. Um, of course, I have my co-workers with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu It's good, it's good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Mm. Good. How are you? Are you still calm? From the previous episode, you are still calm? Oh, I thought yeah. you'd have been gingered by now. Was I calm in the previous episode? Oh, you were. Oh, yeah? Mm, yeah, you were. Uncomfortably calm or nicely calm? It's your girlfriend's that knows that. What's my own with a comfortable and comfortable? Your girlfriend's no. watched the show. To my girlfriends, I only have one Not girlfriend. Been, it's a simple question, fam. It's your girlfriend that I refuse to tell us her name. Do, you, yeah, I think do you I know the name of your boyfriend if you have I, one? I, I don't have none. If I have, I would have told you. <laughs> okay. Mm. Moving on. Okay, moving on. She doesn't want us to get to her table, but it's okay. Um, if we I'm. Know. Declares Mayor Kong Artist of the Year in 2020. Does anyone agree? Oh, le, le, le. Mm. Mm. I think he has some banging songs of the year. Mm. Can't think Is of that enough videos. for the Artist of the Year? Ah. I was thinking who three banging songs. Three, three banging songs. Mm. Mm. Would you not say Rema has three banging songs as well? Two, actually, because um, Alien is not for everybody. Ah. <laughs> you think my upper song is for everybody? You don't think there's anyone on this planet um, that would say there's, that? There's a male, there's no male. Okay, out of this three, this male songs, once they drop in the club, there's nobody that will not dance. So that will say, I've not heard this song before. But Alien can drop and you say, I've never heard it before. Mm. So is he the artist of so. the year or not? In my opinion, I've tried, to, okay, I won't say I've tried to crack my brain because I didn't even bother because it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth cracking that much. But, um, I think Omar Leitu is not doing badly with his Get Laid um, EP, mm. those songs, Lolo, um, what's it called now? He has a series of songs on that Get Laid mm. EP that mm. are bangers. So mm. for me, we have to go by that. But if we are saying big artist, um, biggest artist or A-list artist, artist of the year. If we're talking about artist of the year, has to be biggest artist now. I don't know yeah, how Omale so Omale, I mean, probably sure Omale will win next rate. But I'm saying that if we're talking <laughs> about songs, right, Omale has more relatable songs. So you give him artist of the year? Yeah, I'll give Omale artist of, of the year. 2020. Of 2020. I think he first part of Omale's PR. Because <laughs> the, that's the only reason I can see you talking of May Yoko and moving to Omale or this mm. table right now. But No, because they're anyway. making about songs, right? When you're talking about True. artist of the year, mm. right? Okay, what, it comes with what a lot of make? other things. It's not just the songs you've dropped. Mm -hmm. It's selling out if shows. If that's the case, then it's... I'll tell you. Which show did you sell out in 2020? No, then I'm I'll saying tell you, that, that those are the things they put into for me, consideration then it, I mean, for I mean, I'm not a big fan of Bonaboy, but then I will say Bonaboy right now. Because we are talking about BET, we are talking about the Grammys, we are talking about him dropping an album very soon. I mean, we are talking about artist of the year, not necessarily like you rightly said. Mm. So let's let's kind of look at how we are. Um, Omale, I feel this. like Omale has that effect now, did you where see people why you just called, really sorry, over blow him up sometimes. I feel like Omale's conversation always comes up like that. It's like he's good, though, but. Every time I hear people talk about it, it's like, oh, mm, like this. But do you see what? So I can I agree with you on Bono Boy because you, did you see it? All the other factors you factioned into this conversation to make Bono Boy. He said Grammy beats, he this. Okay, but yes. if you remove all those things. He has big and songs as well. Of Wonderful. 2020, yeah. Wonderful. Like, it's, it's a, so do we, are we that. saying on the table that we don't agree or we agree? I don't, me personally, I don't agree that he's the artist of the year, but it, has he put in a lot of work this year? Yes. I, I mean, I would say that this is Mayor Kuz. He's year. done well. Yeah. He's done well for the really gang well. remix yeah. mm. of Lagos, which I'm not a fan of. And really? then this last one that I'm a fan of. Um, what's this last one? B B uh, Betty Butter. Betty Butter. Butter yeah. I feel like I'll swap them. So I'm not a fan of Betty Butter, but I'm a fan of, um, oh, really? of Lagos. Yeah. yeah. You're Lagos, like, like, oh, no, no, no. Well, yeah. <laughs> For me, yeah. I think I'll go with Bonner Boy. Mm. Honestly, if we're looking at A-list artists. And, um, in second place, we'll still be on Mali. Ha! Hey! All right, we're moving on. <laughs> the check has to bang. Okay. The hustle is not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that deep. All right, let's move on to the next story. Film Producers Association of Ghana has indefinitely suspended Tracy Boache. Um, the announcement was made in a press statement um, released to the media and signed by the president of the association. The statement states that Tracy is not supposed to take part in any activities during this period until the situation is reviewed. This is as a result of the beef between Tracy and musician Miss Bell.
Ms. Bell. Ms. Bell. Okay. So according to the uh, because um, Ghana media can stress you like South Africa Twitter. <laughs> like they will start with English, <laughs> put language in the middle, and then at the end they come back with English. And I'm wondering, okay, what, what are we talking about? So I tried to listen, but of course they were um, um, subtitled um, for those who transcribed it for the media, and they were basically saying she used unprintable words. And I'm guessing they cannot melt the same um, punishments down um, to Miss Bell because she's not part of the association. But they're just more like what happened between Tony Abraham and. Um, uh, was this lady that just got married now? Liz uh, and Jory. And no, when it's, it's not similar. Is it Tampan? I mean, yeah, when Tampan came to Wadi, but then they did suspend anyone. So no, do you know why that case is different? In Liz and Jory and um, what's the other lady? Toy Abraham. Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. They're both actors. Yeah. But this one is that's between a saying. musician yeah. and an actor. So Which I said that's why they can't yeah. actually. Well, it's not their call. Bell. It's not even they but can't. They it's not their it. call because it's more like it's just the body that controls music that can punish Miss Bell. That's, what so. she, that's exactly that's what, what saying. she's saying. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, for me, when I first, first read it, the, there's one boy that is dating Ghana and his name was Boache. Hey, I don't know if you guys are Boache. Okay. I don't know if you guys have that thing. If you don't, maybe the name is not very common, so you've not met a few people. But if you meet one person with one name, they just carry a vibe to that name. Mm -hmm. So when I read that thing, I was just biased. This is Boache I was like, mm. <laughs> They are like that. They like causing trouble. Like, so your you know. ex-boyfriend was causing trouble. Uh, Why do I hope you are watching Boache, no, All those boches, all of them together. Oh, wow. I felt the same too, to be honest. Like, I didn't get enough information or mm -hmm. even, like, find enough um, resources on to see how what exactly was said. I understand that people don't want to repeat it because it was really vulgar, but mm -hmm. it would be nice to be able to have more context as to why they said that and what, mm -hmm. what was why said and how it was said. Why they have to suspend her. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, Sha, I don't, I I don't think other people like to fight because we also fight here too. But I feel like when it comes to awards, ceremony, and fighting, and Ghana, five and six. Mm. To me, um, I like the fact that a punishment was meted down to Boache, considering the fact that we've said it several times that a lot of these actors, musicians, and all of that role models, you can't go on behaving like radicals. Can't be even anyhow. Yes, you can't you can't be doing stuff <laughs> like that. It. And then you Come know your younger generation is looking up to you. What she example are you laying for them? So um I like the fact that they started this way. So if you misbehave on social media, let, let it be a punishment. You're not going mm. to earn for a while. You mm. you get me and then that way they'll all learn how to be prim and proper. Maybe if they've done that to Tonto DK a long time ago, maybe that can't work in Nigeria. It can't Nigeria work in Nigeria just too big, because too big. even even this this thing that you're talking about where I feel like in Nigeria, they even chastise more uh, um, entertainers than the people that commit more crimes. Like, I remember we've talked about um, Naramali getting fined, mm -hmm. and, to, and what's her name? Funke Akidele, but it was not today where they were where they had a rally in, in Edo State and all of them packed themselves, over 5,000 people on the stage to politicians to where there, no face mask, nothing, no shield, nothing. And they're all there. Who's arresting them and who's scolding them? So, before you start Speaking to chastise of, people okay. based on I'm a role model, mm -mm, it can't work here. I may I, I may have to um, deviate a little bit because um, speaking of Naira Mali and Funke Akindele, I um, did like a, a few research on their punishment and all that, and they are now ex-convicts. Yes, they no. cannot. They, they are convicted for a crime. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, but right now, like it's a criminal offence, so they are felons. They are yeah, convicted so Funke felons. Can so never she can't run for, run anything for a political, political. It's really she gets a state up. pardon. Most of us, she probably won't be getting an endorsement deal. But I don't think they understand the gravity of what they pleaded. Endorsement deal is too far. But when it comes to political, political rallies, it will be hard. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's, it's really sad. It's really sad. But I don't think... But the, you know what's interesting? They, they are appeal. committing more... People who are running are committing more crimes. They are more, they're not even ex con Is that... <laughs> active convicts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this country is a joke, please. <laughs> you want to say something? No, I said they can appeal to this in case they didn't know the gravity oh. of what mm. they were. Um, I feel, I feel like, for personal, I think Funke has a, a stronger chance of removing that because if you, if you honestly, if you're looking at me, I was a, if I was a lawyer, I'll gather all the evidence of all the other people doing everything. And my, my strong suit to be that everybody was in my estate from the beginning and they didn't actually come out. This was like lockdown, lockdown period. So I could just argue that they were already there anyway. We're just isolating together. Why didn't they argue it that time? I don't know. 
Because they just felt you pay 100k and that's like nothing to them. Uh, maybe they, they just, didn't think of the well, well, have wrongly. If she doesn't have a, a political ambition, maybe she doesn't really care. Like, yeah. this is Nigeria for You I'm never like, know. You never, never know. know what Funka can deliver. You never know what would. She probably doesn't have a political ambition, but it would come to her. Hmm. Political ambition would come to her. Yeah. No, a political position would come to her. Right. Mm, special advisor. You get stuff like Women's that. But that something. doesn't, I don't think that affects. Does of that course affect? It does. It dep see, even when they say you have done something, we with sense will say, have to sit down and say, what did you do exactly? Mm. So they are calling you, for example, now, like you said, women affairs, and they're saying, for she should come and be special advisor or something. You now want to stay, she had house party, that's why she cannot perform. <laughs> and the like, fact how that, would you the sound? Fact that we, we have sense doesn't mean that the law would not still take its course. Oh, no, nah, the law is not that deep. Is, See, anything can happen with this story. It can be that they will actually be mad and decide that they want to implement that, and it could be that go, hey, they'll just say, oh, Forget that one, it's okay. Okay, we've changed topics. So, but yeah, okay, yes, um, tea time <laughs> will continue right after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's how they look myself. Minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Sam Clef calls out to the Ednot for blocking him and Ubi Franklin after they started their own Instagram. Should I say blog now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he says the sky is big enough for everyone. And this is um, Tunde Ednot that came to his is it hotel room and brought a drink and they drank together. And now that he doesn't understand how Tunde Ednot still has the Nigerian mentality <laughs> in <laughs> their <know>. broad. <laughs> Uh, people expect way too much from, from people. those in di diaspora. Right. Like, do you think the air is so different? It changes your brain or mm. something or your DNA. Uh, the whole thing is just, mm -hmm. okay, whatever. But I think it is petty. When it comes to Tunde Ednot, I cannot lie to you and say that I, I expected. I know you don't like him anyway. Yes, I mm -hmm. don't like him. I don't like anything it stands for. I've seen the way he captions. I've seen, I, like, I'm not, he's not somebody that I... I don't say I'm not bad Belen, no, but he's someone I wish did not have that much fame because he has nothing positive out today that I can say, oh yes, I stand for, I stand for you, I stand, or whatever that saying is. So if it's the same kind of person that I've seen on his blogging sites with the type of things that he does, I don't see this how is this is, him, yeah, right? I don't see how this mm. is beneath him, honestly. Basically, left to me, yeah, this is one of those stories that I just feel like, so what's, what should we do about this exactly? <laughs> like, the fact that you got blocked right like, today and not... Yeah, what Tunde did is quite pretty, but I think you should focus. I think people should stop focusing on why people are doing certain things. You have started a channel, right? You started it with a plan, with a vision, with a and goal. It's actually doing well. Yeah, so can you just go ahead? Since you're doing well, can you just go? You don't have to bring this. So this one now is like another soft sell for yourself like okay i need to very sell very soft sell but then that's how it works now he will gain followers yeah you yeah, understand because honestly i the beef between insta blog and tunde not for the longest time like they wake up maybe in the next six months now they'll start under fight again like. so to me it's more like you're leveraging on what tunde had not did for your own benefit as I well like so I it doesn't change yeah. the fact that you're also as bad as tunde had not mm. so uh, okay 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 i think okay. sam clef has actually you had me and you lost me has, <laughs> i think he has used his platform to kind of speak up even if you laugh at his speaking up sometimes yeah. if uh, but i think he has made more efforts than to the end note but this Abba, drama man. for me Abba, Abba. <laughs> <laughs> after reading um this whole thing i was even looking at his pettiness and all the person that caught my attention really was ubi franklin so it's not I'm, I'm not shading him this time around. Why didn't Ubi come out to tell us? No. This? Do, do you think he will not jump? Don't worry. Just let this in unfold. This is not Ubi Franklin. Okay. But what I want to Should say is... Should we put our money is, where our mouth is? Yeah. 
uh, where my mouth is. In oh, where? I know. I want to raise my mouth in Ubi Franklin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but what I'm saying is for someone like Ubi Franklin to still recognize that channel as a means of income, it just goes to show that this guy is going to be, he's probably not wealthy, wealthy, but he's not going to get into that point where you think Ubi Franklin will not be able to survive in life. Because mm. he, he looks out for the business. He looks mm. out for how to make money from every little it's thing. Some, he, I mean, before now, you probably think Mubrankley would not be bothered about becoming a blogger or making money. But I actually went to his page today and I saw that he's even making ad money already. Like people pay for him to upload things on his platform. And that's another amazing stream of income mm. for him. And that's what I really admire in this story. That Ubi is, if you tell Ubi to go and sit down at this junction and he'll make money. I think he's going to sit down there. He doesn't mm. care who is looking or how they're looking. I think that's one thing people should look at and try to diversify Alani their source Badge of income as well. already calling herself an influencer. She said lowest key, Of course, she, no, she is an influencer. influencer. No, no, she she's said lowest key. I like the fact that she mm. said no, it. She, she said she, lowest I, I, I've, I've seen her YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah it's not bad. Mm -hmm. she, has a, she has influence. Even if it's not to a grand yeah. masses, but she does have influence. She's, she's pretty cool mm. on there. Her energy is top notch. One thing I also wanted to call out was the write up as well. When you were saying it was soft, soft promotion, I have to agree, but there was nothing tacky. I think you will have lost me if you mentioned maybe tagged the channel that was in a very, okay, I know your intention here, but I like that. I feel like he just really bothered him and he genuinely put that out there. Especially if he was this guy. Yeah, but then when he said that because you're a threat, I feel like that is a very loud assumption. Yeah, maybe, maybe it might look like that, but to come out and say that you know for a fact that Tunde Edna blocked you because it, was, it was a threat is a bit like... Mm. A stretch. Yeah, like you don't actually know that for sure. Maybe you're just really an irritating guy and you're hard to work with. Like you never, it's hard for me to start. What you lo you lose me a bit when you just assume that people are jealous of you. Like I really can't stand people mm. like that. Until you can prove that thing a hundred percent, a lot of difficult people like to use that excuse. Like you're just jealous of me. So that one for me, I was like, eh, let's wait first to actually say that that's what's happening because I don't know how to you know, be jealous of a blog that literally just started. I mean, there's potential well, and you'll be a competition. Actually. Yes. Mm. But like, I Especially don't know. I don't really think Sunday. that that's all that has happened there for him to want to block you. Especially three days when Sunday is losing his fire because there's some stories that you see on other blogs that you've seen it today. He'll be posting like three days later. Like, bro, what are you doing? Hmm. Well, mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, oh, not okay. to destroy your business. This is <laughs> just the truth. Um, do better. This one very quickly because our time is almost up. Um, actor Blossom mm. Chuku Jeku's ex-wife Maureen Sisi. Um, is speaking about their broken marriage. She says that she was the last person to know that they were getting divorced, that they were divorced, and that, uh, what else? <laughs> <laughs> and that she shot on in 33. And that she's the best uh -huh. that he's ever had. Yeah. Mm. Best thing I never had. Beyonce, okay. Um, I like the um, triumph. What's that animal? You know, rise from the doorstop to the from the ashes. I like the tone that <laughs> that message comes with, where like being through a divorce and that you're on top of your game now. You you feel good. You're doing well. Like I like that type of vibe and message that you're owning your stuff. I can't. I don't. I don't really care what has gone on in between there. But the point is that it was messy and it ended, and that's not the intention yeah. when you guys were getting married. So I can't. Um, you know, like minimize that effect. So I like that she was doing all the old bas 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 bas, but. I, I always have a problem with people who come on social media to talk, but they're not really saying anything. Like, <laughs> so, uh, like, hmm. are you, <laughs> if you're going to tell us that. You don't try. If you're going, if you, yes, like, yes, basically. Like, what are you telling me? For necessary. Like, tell us exactly <laughs> what it is that happened. Why did he, why are you the last is person to know? Is it that you're telling know? us or you're not telling us? Do you get You don't tell us that you're the last person to know, but you don't want us. We're not asking you why. You're it's, not saying, mind It's your sounding like the stone guy. they stoned me. I used it to build the house. <laughs> Okay. I mean, at some point, I, was, I read it over and over again. I was thinking, okay, so what's the point? Because what I'm getting from here is that you probably have, like, serious issues or you have serious mental issues. Because if you are the last person to know that your marriage oh, is getting... Oh, that was what you got? Yeah. The only thing I got was that you want us to wish you happy birthday. Okay. That's like <laughs> September 11th now. That's you, like... <laughs> like just, you are telling us your birthday beforehand because that was the only thing. Okay, so all this speech now is to tell us that you are turning I think, she, I think she's done well to move on. And I think she should maintain that um, peace. This is not necessary. It's, it was rumored that she was yeah. actually going to be in the Big Brother house. Yeah, I don't it know was. What it was. I mean, there were lots of people that were supposed to be in that Big Brother house. Uh, that yes, no, you know, see the influencer Because they were all quarantined. They told them. <laughs> <laughs> 
isolate for two weeks. And then when you go to the GDA, they took those they wanted to take. But unfortunately, we have to wrap up. Mm. And of course, we wish more happy good birthday. luck. And happy <laughs> birthday in advance. In advance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well okay. done, girl. Don't mind well me. Well done. You're killing it. Get Come it. off it. That's how we wrap up <laughs> this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshoke, yes, and sir. the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <laughs>